Gary, what are the changes you see in the second year in this program, this training camp, compared to what it was like last year? Uh, speed and everything and uh, less mistakes. You know, guys know the playbook a lot more. Um, they're not learning it for the first time. So just everything is a lot quicker, um, a lot less mistakes. You see that on film, too, that yeah. you guys look, look yeah. quicker. Yeah, and um, just a little details in certain things. Guys are starting to pick things up better. Um, just normal, normal things that um, you might not get in, you know, year one. Guys are getting year two. Yesterday, Kyle was saying that he, he feels like the locker room's got to a point where it kind of polices itself now in terms of culture. Do you feel that, and how much do you see like a, a, a certain standard being set and also being met every day? Yeah, we have a really good locker room. Um, I know I've said this probably a couple times, but the guys that you know John and Kyle have brought in to this organization, um, we're all very similar. Um, we're all very cohesive with each other. And uh, once we get in the locker room, um, you know, like we had um, uh, APG guys come in here for with the military, and uh, we did a lot of exercises with them. Um, but yeah, we're just a really, really close knit group of guys right now. How much does that help in terms of what you were just talking about, the speeding things up and, and knowing that you don't have to worry about people not coming to work or you know not being ready to to do what's expected of them on a day? Yeah, I mean. It's, it's funny. Uh, in years past, you know, we, I, you know, guys have missed meetings, missed practices. We, we've had to worry about off off the field issues. Um, right now, um, that's that's not a factor at all. Right now, it's just all about football, which is awesome. Um, yeah, just the guys are really cohesive, and um, um, going back to um, the guys taking care of each other, you know, on the field. There's guys aren't like taking each other heads off, stuff like that. No one's injuring each other, um, which is good. You know, sometimes during this time of camp, guys can, you know, start getting a little upset with each other, um, but that's not happening, which is awesome. Talk about Fred Warner then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That, you know, every once in a while that's going to happen. Um, what was good is they didn't really, they didn't get in a fight. They didn't start throwing fists everywhere. Um, and guys, you know, pulled them apart right away. Um, but every once in a while you're going to get that. And, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes I feel like practice is kind of slow. Sometimes you need something like that to get things going, uh, which is good. Um, but, yeah, it didn't, it didn't carry over from there, which was good. What, what have you seen from him, Brett Warner? I mean, I'm sure he has to cover you sometimes. I mean, what, what have you seen? Yeah, he's improving also? quite a bit. Um, he reminds me a, um, a lot of Will Hoyt. You remember, yeah, Will Hoyt, who used to be here? Um, I think in the future he's going to be a great, great special teams player for us and con continue to develop as an amazing linebacker. Um, the guy knows how to hit. Uh, in practice, he's hit a couple guys pretty hard. And um, you know some people don't have that in them, and he definitely has that in him. And he's a smart player as well. So uh, I can't wait to see what he can do in the future. A former safety, is that the similarity you see, just the ability to cover? Uh... Just the way they move, yeah, the way they move. Um, their body type. Um, um, I thought Will Hitt was a pretty smart guy. I thought his football IQ was pretty high, and I see the same with Fred. How would you compare where Jimmy is with his command of the offense right now to la la late last season when, when he first became the starter? Um, very similar. I mean, as soon as Jimmy came in, he just took control right away. Um, he didn't ease into it at all. It was pretty awesome. Um, he owned the role. Um, we always say, you know, in our offense, you know, our, in our entire team, you got to overcome coaching. <clears throat> and uh, he's really good at helping receivers overcome, you know, coaching. You know, we, we might have a certain route written on paper, but you don't have to run it, you know, to the, the exact way. And, you know, Jimmy has learned a lot from Brady. And, uh, you know, he knows, you know, like, hey, don't, you don't have to do exactly what they're telling us to do. You know, get open, get the ball, let's make plays. Here, one of the few around here that can, um, was around for the height of the 49ers and Seahawks rivalry. I, I guess, get, given that, what of your, has Richard Sherman surprised you by the type of guy he is? I don't know what expectations you have for him. Yeah, so when he, when we, I found out he, we first signed him. It's going to be like, oh, that's going to be kind of weird in the locker room. 
Um, but no, he gelled with us right away. Um, and he's become one of the leaders on the team. Um, you know, he, he mixed it up with everybody right off the bat. There was, you know, I don't think no one had any problems with him or anything like that. You know, our team's pretty young, so um, there's not a lot of guys, you know, from those first, you know, from my first couple of years um, where we had that, you know, that rivalry, you know. Um, but no, he's doing, he's doing great. Um, and he's fitting in really well. Is it kind of refreshing to have playoff expectations again, like back to those days when you guys would play Seattle for the NFC Championship, and now people are talking about it again after the swimming? Yeah, game. no, it definitely gives us life. Um, <laughs> we, we have high expectations as a team, you know. Um, and me personally, I, I can't wait to see what we can do this year. Um, the last couple games of the season, we were able to show what we're capable of. And uh, I, I can't, I can't wait to get a chance to show it. George, I, I think, was one of the few rookie tight ends in the last decade to have 500 yards receiving his first season, um, and a lot of people point to that and say maybe he's a he's a breakout candidate this year. I mean, what, what have you seen from him, and and how good do you think he could be in, in year two? George is a very hardworking tight end. He's very smart. Um, him and Jimmy, they stay after practice. They're working on things that he knows he needs to get better. Um, he's when you watch him on film, he's a weird. He's the way he moves is so weird. It's unconventional, but it works. And uh, yeah, I think you know if he continues, you know, t continues to get stronger. Um, he's already got the speed. He just as long as he keeps getting stronger, in which he's bigger this year already. Um, his blocking, his ability, his his ability to block is already pretty good. Um, and his route running has gotten a lot better this year, and I think he's going to have a really good year. Can you give me an example when you say it looks weird on film? Yeah, so let's just say um, he's got a defender, you know, head up over top of him, and he's in a three-point stance, and he's got to get around him. You know, most guys might give a shake and, you know, swim or something like that to get past him. George almost skims his shoulders across the ground. He gets so low, and he's kind of got, like, spider legs. It's, it's really weird. Um, uh, his base gets really wide at times, but uh, he, he works. I don't know how he does it, but it works. Have you noticed any changes in, in Kyle in his second year as a head coach? Um, you know, Kyle's just still the same guy he, he's always been. Um, I think if you're a good head coach, a good leader, you know, you're going to continue day in and day out, be the same person, and I think that's who he's been. Hold you guys very accountable, but it may not be quite as, um, I don't know, as serious as, say, the Harbaugh years in some ways. How did you, I guess, have that balance of being serious, holding everyone accountable, but maybe not being like yeah. that? You got to know how to talk to your players, you know? You got to know who you're dealing with. Um, and I think he does a really good job of talking to us like men. Um, you know, he expects a lot out of us. And uh, but he also gives us a lot of you know he gives us respect and um, you know we give him respect back. Um, um, yeah, it's just I mean it's just simple. I mean he's he's um, he's good to us and we're good to him. When you say he talks to you like men, I mean it's kind of beyond you just being a football player and an X or an L. Sorry, say that one more time. Well, when you say he talks to you like men, do you just mean? I mean, there's a relationship beyond Yeah, I mean, you sometimes you can have coaches that, you know, freak out on you and just, you know, scream at you all the time. He's not that type of guy. Um, you know, he's, he's going to be mature with us. And uh, in return, he has the same from us.